We bring the month of August to a close. We're taking a look at some ways to support black businesses. Our Brandy McGill spoke to an expert about the impact we've seen so far in our state. That's right. So National Black Business Month is coming to an end, but the support doesn't stop here. Joining me now is Matt Schultz with Lending Tree to talk about the impact over the month of August. Matt, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So this month really highlighted the contributions of black owned U.S. businesses, right? Yeah, yeah. And we, we did a uh, we looked at some recent numbers from the, the Census Bureau and we found we, we took a look at where minority owned businesses were were thriving the most. And um, what we found was that Mississippi was actually one of the 10 states where um, where minority owned businesses were thriving the most. But one of the issues where minority owned businesses in Mississippi were struggling was in terms of how much they pay their employees compared to other other businesses in the state. So that's a pretty significant thing. So when you say how much they're paying their workers, why do you think there's a struggle there? Do you think there's like a lack of support or grants or any type of funding? Yeah, it's it's hard to know. Um, th there are certainly lots of organizations and lots of groups out there that uh, who who work to provide access to funding for minority owned businesses. But we also know that sometimes um, sometimes it can be difficult to get access to capital and also because of um, because of generally lower incomes and less access to generational wealth. Sometimes there is less money at the beginning of starting these businesses, so that can create some challenges as well. Awesome. So it's always great to support local as it is, but tell me the importance of supporting black entrepreneurs as they continue to try to grow. Well, any any type of business that you want to see thrive, it's important for you to spend money with them and support them. And even if you can't spend money with them, there are things that you can do that don't cost any money. Obviously, spending and buying their product or eating at their restaurant is is a great way to do it so in, and if you have a little extra money investing in some of these businesses to help them with capital is a really big deal too but if you can't do any of that even things like like spreading the word about them on social media or through your friends and things like that and getting people excited about going to minority owned businesses is a big deal because so many businesses really, really rely on that sort of word of mouth, whether it's through social media or other yeah. means in order to kind of get the ball rolling. Absolutely. And it's great that earlier you even highlighted that many of the support was supported here in Mississippi, hitting the top 10. But how can you tell, you know, viewers that the support doesn't stop here just because, you know, the month is ending? Oh, there's your businesses, all of your favorite businesses need your help year round, regardless of which particular month it is. And, uh, and especially as we get toward the end of the year. So if supporting minority owned businesses is important to you, taking the time to seek them out and to spend money and to provide them your, your help and your resources and support is a really big deal. Awesome. Well, Matt, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.